Well, W, our approximated Shapiro Wilk test statistic, equals the correlation of YI, our ordered data, and AI, the um, Royston constants um, in order. And then we square that correlation. So that W test statistic is pretty easy to calculate once we get all of our A values. To calculate the A values, we're going to have to use this piecewise function. And to start, we'll have to take the nth term of the sorted data. So that means that we are actually working backwards um, from the highest, the greatest value, and then sort of filtering down to the lowest, um, which is kind of um, non-intuitive in, since all of our other normality tests we've looked at, we sort everything in ascending and we sort of start from the lowest. Um, in this case, we'll still do something very similar. Um, so a n is this really long equation that relies heavily on this u variable. And u, you'll see down here, is actually um, a constant based on our sample size n. So u equals 1 over the square root of n. That makes this pretty easy, just some big coefficients we have to deal with. And then you'll see at the end, um, we're adding on this term here, m n over the square root of capital N. So m i is our normal score. Now you may remember from our Ryan Joyner test that we use this normal score. Um, the normal score is calculated down here, norm.s.inv of i minus 0.375 over n plus 0.25. If you're curious to learn more about what this normal score is, please check out that Ryan Joyner test. Um, that will go into the definition of normal score and what this is. Um, we're not going to go into that today because we still have plenty of equations to get through. But this m, capital M value, is just the sum of the squares of all of our m i values. Once we have those, we can also do a of n minus 1, which is a very similar equation, just some different coefficients, and we, at the end, take m n minus 1 instead of m n. Then we can jump back to the beginning, because a1 equals negative a n, and a2 equals negative a n minus 1. Then, for everything in between, we can use ai, where ai equals mi over the square root of epsilon. So mi, again, the normal score for that value. Epsilon is reliant, again, on an and an minus 1, because it, the equation for this is the numerator being m minus 2 mn squared minus 2 mn minus 1 squared over 1 minus 2 a n squared minus 2 a n minus 1 squared. So um, not none of this is too terrible, um, especially in Excel. It's a lot easier than using tables. And that is one of the reasons why the Royston Shapiro Wilk test um, can be great for engineers. So then we would take this array of AI values. We would get the correlation coefficient with our ordered data. And then we would square that for the W test statistic. Mm -hmm.